that it would have been a dissuasive measure on a part of some NFL players. Let's, 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 let's call it what it is, all right? First of all, we need to understand something. You've got NFL players. They got a lot of heart. They got a lot of courage. All of those things are true. But they are also cognizant of their responsibilities. And if you have concerns towards feeding your family and for, uh, elevating, if not at least sustaining your quality of life, and something threatens that, it's going to give you cause to pause, particularly with something like this. Because kneeling for the national anthem and what have you, if people are going to take it that way, and as a result, the NFL is going to step in and impose some kind of penalty against you, you're going to be concerned about it no matter how much it turns you off. It doesn't mean that you're devoid of heart, courage, or anything like that. It just means you have responsibilities to other things aside from just yourself. NFL players are in a position where they have to stomach that responsibility more so than NBA players or anybody else because of the money that we're talking about here. If LeBron James takes a position, and I brought this up on my final take yesterday, but I'll elaborate for the purposes of this discussion just a little bit further. If LeBron James, or let's just even say a Russell Westbrook, takes this position, you got a problem on your hand if you're the individual team, whether it's the Cavaliers or the Oklahoma City Thunder. You got a problem if you're the NBA. You know why? Because that $217 million extension that Russell Westbrook signed, that no NFL player is getting their hands on, by the way, that's fully guaranteed. And as a result, their coffers are, are, are you know, they, it's sustained. It's, it's there. Whereas with NFL players, you can get cut, you can get waived, you can have your salary restructured, modified. All of these different things come into the equation. So the dollars that exist within the National Basketball Association and Major League Baseball, let me not leave that out as well, and the, and the comfort of guarantees that they have at their disposal is not something NFL players enjoy because the culture of the NFL with the hard salary cap and everything else that I mentioned comes into the equation. Players are cognizant of that, therefore forced to ask themselves, is this worth what I have to lose? And the answer in more instances than not would be no, which is what unfortunately makes our president's point valid. That was my first reaction too, that he's probably right about that. But then I thought a little bit more about it, Stephen A. You know why Colin Kaepernick has led and why he's in the position he's in where the president is talking about him? because he's had the courage of his convictions and that has inspired people. It's because he's already donated close to the full million dollars that he pledged that he would, because he is doing work in the community, because he did risk his career. He was not a star. He's a bubble starter who risked it all for this. That inspired people. And I, don't, and I think a one-game benching, if anything, what you see is when Colin Kaepernick is challenged, he'll double down. I think he would have done that. I think he would have persisted. And that would have been even more inspirational. So, in fact, I don't agree with Trump about that. The other thing I don't agree with Trump about is when he said, you can't disrespect our anthem, our flag, or our country. Last time I checked, we still live in the United States of America. And, in fact, you can disrespect our flag, anthem, and country because we are truly free. That is why you don't, most of us don't want to. Because we honor that idea. You absolutely can. You are free to do so. Now, whether or not you're free to do so in the NFL, we'll see. But um, that's not for Donald Trump to decide. Uh, well, well, uh, oh, go ahead, Stephen A. I, I got you just one quick uh, other point. I am in no way saying that Donald Trump would have been right about Colin Kaepernick specifically. I was alluding, Max, to his point about suspending Kaepernick being used as a dissuasive for other players towards other yeah. players how it would affect it them. It, 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 that's what i'm saying i don't think it would affect the way, i agree he with, still would have done what he did I, you and i had the same analysis first and i, I thought about it a lot and, and i agree with that there would be some who were dissuaded by a, that kind of punishment right. but there would be others depending on how kaepernick responded to it who would be further emboldened i think that may have canceled itself out i, I think those we, were money i, I think yeah. both you guys bring up great points um and i think if we rewind it and go back to the start of this uh Colin Kaepernick created a platform to try to speak on social justice. He was the voice of the voiceless. This is why he did what he did. It had nothing to do with the flag or disrespecting the army or anything else. Now, I think at times he got caught off guard early because he was the wrong messenger. He didn't know how to send the message correctly. But going forward now, the platform has been built to basically bring light to social injustice. But here's the problem. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that every day. We're talking about the flag. So with that being said, his message has been diluted. It's gotten lost in the flag, in the players not standing for the flag. Well, that's not the issue. The issue was never the flag for the players. It never it was, was about the flag. 
It, it is, so, so now the message is about the flag, how the players are disrespecting the flag. So the social injustice, the voice for the voices is not being heard because the flag is so resounding, rightly so. So the problem is this. Going forward, the platform has been built by these players. Now what do we do? How do we go, how do we go talk about social injustice? How do we go in our communities? Like the Miami Dolphin players you saw. You know, like the guys with the Eagles uh, in Seattle. All these guys are on their off days are actually going out and doing this. So the platform has been set for the players. Look, the national anthem is a national anthem. And when you threaten it, that's what the conversation becomes. Nothing else. And we've lost well, that somewhere. You know, the irony in all of this, coaches, yes, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here because it might be uncomfortable for other people to do it. I'm not scared. It is what it is. I'm a huge, always have been, always will be a huge fan of rap artist Eminem. And I would encourage everybody to go see that freestyle rap he did for the BET Awards uh, just recently. It's trending worldwide and what have you. I'll just leave it to that. The, interest, the only reason I bring him up now is because... Whereas the narrative, in my opinion, was hijacked in terms of folks getting caught up in the national anthem as opposed to what Colin Kaepernick specifically said he protested, <laughs> profanity, laced, tirade, aside, and all of that stuff. If you listen to the freestyle rap that Eminem put out there and you listen to the issues that he broached, not about politics, but about this individual who's in office and what he specifically has said and done. It, it gets back to what Colin Kaepernick's original intent was. This is why I would encourage people to go and watch that. And Eminem said I he had to choose that. between his fans should choose between him and the president, which is a, a bold thing to yes, say. He Even did. if most of his fans, you would think, wouldn't be fans of the president. Um, yes, he did. I want to say one thing quickly, Coach, about yes. how it's got, how it's been uh, hijacked, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yes. Yet, what, whenever a protest like this occurs. A lot of times, reflexively, what you hear from the establishment is you're disrespecting our military men and women. Right. Because it's a, it's a reflexive response that everyone backs down from. No, 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 we're not. Because no one is. Who's disrespecting the people who risk their lives for exactly. not only our freedom, just for U.S. interests? Yes. Like, yes. you know, they are still risking their lives. Many of them people of color, incidentally, who agree with Colin Kaepernick. Okay. But that's not what it's about. No. Colin Kaepernick never said, I am, I am doing this to protest our military men and women. And he maintains that he's not doing that to protest the military men and women. Problem is, as I said before, he was probably the wrong messenger early because of what he did. Fidel Castro shirt. Right. Uh, uh, socks Which with I criticized. So, 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 socks, socks with the police hey. pig on it. You can't do that. Yeah. And deliver a message. Right. Because that was deluded. Whatever yeah. you say, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, what are yeah. you doing here? So he, he was the wrong messenger early. Yep. Yeah. Going forward, though, now the discussion has to be for the league, mm -hmm. because this has taken over the league, yep. whether you like it or not. Every head coach. We, we, yep. we also, also, oh, we're, we're also having to acknowledge. We also have to acknowledge that the reason why the the, the, the president's comments w has validity to it is because he's talking about what should have been done towards Colin Kaepernick by the owners before this momentum brew. Mm -hmm. Yes. And see, we we talk. The guys are standing up now. We have to remember. It reminds us of the fact that Colin Kaepernick kneeled over a year ago, but the collective effort that's being put on display now only took place after the, after the president came out almost three weeks ago and called them a bunch of SOBs. Yep. They were, the people weren't kneeling to this degree at, until you then, know, right. which people, means that the president had a point. He if, has a point. If you, if you combine that, the president's very good at making everything about him. About him. Um, but sure. I, I think there's, there's, an, element that, there's also an element to someone who's willing to sacrifice, yes. even if it's his career. And we saw this with Muhammad Ali before I was born. We're but gonna get in, Ma yep. Muhammad Ali was willing to risk everything, and even hardened bigots yes. who were against Ali based on race, even those against him because he converted to Islam, 